And Adam, three weeks ago, it was really a Vince Young or Jeff Fisher scenario. Bud Adams, long a fan of the quarterback, it seemed had chosen Fisher, retaining the coach and looking to move forward to next season. And then this, what happened to cause this breakup? A few things, Josh. First and foremost, you're looking at a situation where Jeff Fisher was entering the last year of his contract. He wasn't going to sign a contract extension with Tennessee, and Tennessee wasn't going to give him a contract extension, making this much like the situation that occurred last year in Carolina with John Fox and the Panthers, and the Panthers went on to have the worst season in football. There was an uneasy truce between these two sides, and inevitably this was going to happen. And as one person in the NFL said to me last night, when something's inevitable, you might as well make it immediate. And as the two sides got together, and as they continued to move forward, there was an example at one point this past week where Jeff Fisher had some interest in bringing aboard his son as a defensive assistant coach. The Titans did not want that to happen, and he has it in his contract that he can do that, but Adams blocked it. So there were some issues that brought the entire issue to the forefront and made it such that the two sides did decide to part ways on an amicable basis. And so they have, and so for the first time in 17 years, there will be a new coach for this franchise. Who will Adams look to pursue to replace Fisher? Well, what's interesting, Josh, is the Titans got to Tennessee in 1997. So Jeff Fisher is the only NFL head coach that that state has ever known. And now that he's gone, it's likely that they'll follow a similar course to what Tampa Bay did a couple of years ago when they fired John Gruden, shockingly, late in January and went in staff with Raheem Morris. There are two candidates on the Titans staff that will generate interest. Mike Munchak, the Titans offensive line coach, is probably the favorite for this job. He's turned down other opportunities this offseason to stay with Tennessee, including one from Carolina. And then you also have the offensive coordinator, Mike Heimerdinger, who would be a sentimental choice. He's battled back from cancer. He's doing very well. Spoke to him earlier this week and he's going to get some consideration from that organization. But I think when you look at Heimerdinger, you look at Munchak, those will be two of the candidates. The Titans will have a long, exhaustive search. They'll abide by the Rooney Rule. They'll interview other candidates. But I think some people around the league believe that Munchak is the favorite and that Heimerdinger also will get some support. Those two coaches then have a lot of experience coaching Vince Young. It had been thought that with Fisher's return, Vince Young, as Adams had announced, would be either released or traded prior to next season. What might this mean now for Vince Young in Tennessee? Josh, what happened with Jeff Fisher has no bearing on what's going to happen with Vince Young. The Titans still are planning to trade or release Vince Young, no matter what happened with Jeff Fisher. And Vince Young is looking for a fresh start somewhere else. The Titans are looking for a fresh start, as evidenced by the fact that they are now willing to part ways with Vince Young and they've parted ways with Jeff Fisher. And so the two men that have been most integral to this franchise in recent seasons, both will not be back in Tennessee next season. It'll be an entirely new look for the Titans. What next then for Jeff Fisher? Well, he got paid on his contract. So Jeff Fisher doesn't have to worry. Had this happened a few weeks ago, Jeff Fisher probably would have been in play in San Francisco for the 49ers job and in Dallas for the Dallas Cowboys job. Those jobs now have been filled up. So Jeff Fisher will go to the coaching sideline and wait until 2012. And when you look at the coaches that will be available in 2012, you're looking at a group that will include Jeff Fisher, Bill Cowher, John Gruden, Brian Billick, all of whom are interested in coming back to the sideline in 2012. That is going to create an awful lot of pressure on the existing coaches during the 2011 season, if we could ever get to a 2011 season, <laughs> if they can solve their differences on the collective bargaining agreement. Yeah, something that does loom as well. Adam Schefter then with the very latest now surrounding Jeff Fisher's very abrupt departure from the Tennessee Titans.